we're vlogging. So I just got my vlogging camera. I'm looking really like saturated, like really colored. So I just got my Nikon um, D9900, I think this is what it is, um, to start vlogging for you guys. So I wanted to start um, with my, I wanted to start today because I am starting my fitness journey. Um, I just got back from working out with Brandy. So today is day one of me meeting up with Brandy. Um, this morning I had a protein shake and um, a piece of toast with peanut butter. Um, a low fat peanut butter, an organic peanut butter. So it was tasty, it was good. Um, how I'm feeling before the first day? Um, I'm kind of nervous y'all. Like I'm actually very, very, very nervous, um, anxious. Um, I don't know why. It's uh, well, I know why because I um, let me try this out. Because I um, this is going to be a really huge challenge for me. Like probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. And it's like I'm actually taking it like super serious by getting a personal trainer and like all that stuff. And um, I like. Yeah, it's time to like get right. So I'm nervous about that. Um, and I'm nervous about, you know, seeing how I do and um, stepping up to the plate, you know. I have really big expectations of myself just in general. So um, it'll be interesting to see kind of like the highs and lows of this experience. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Okay, y'all, we yeah. finished. Day one She's done. Yeah, so we, this is Brandy, y'all. Introducing Brandy. You're gonna see her on my channel and platforms a lot. So she came in here and killed it. So I tried. I tried. Out. We're gonna we're gonna do some work together. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> it was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Actually, she just she does circuit training, so it's uh, high intensity, but like multiple things being worked at the same time and so like your body's always kind of in a state of like shock because it doesn't know what's coming next or what's happening which is what I like because I find that I get really really bored with like regular workouts which is why I could not keep up with it and could not like sustain my just sustain myself and trying to like work out all the time but I really enjoyed the workout today because it was just like Everything was new and like multiple things going at the same time. So I really liked it. And I realized that like halfway through the workout, I felt more energized than I did in the beginning. Like at the beginning, we first started, I was like huffing and puffing. Um, but halfway through, like I got like a surge of energy and I was just like, oh wow, like I can do this. So it was really, really good. So I'm excited about continuing with her um, for the next few months and getting just right. Um, today or last night, I weighed myself and I was was 140 140 and I'm only 5'2 y'all so yeah um, it's not terrible but I've never been this heavy in my life and um, you know I want to get back down to like 115 120 which is really my average weight um, that I've been for the last five six years um, it's just only been this past year that I really packed on the pounds um, just I think honestly a big part of it is like I'm getting older and I really feel like my biological clock is kind of like ticking and so I turned 25 this past January and it just felt like everything just stopped um, because I really hadn't changed my lifestyle that much in the last year or so but definitely I could tell like you know things were changing so yeah had to actually be active about changing, you know, my health and lifestyle and stuff like that. But, I mean, I wasn't terrible. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't terrible. But definitely can make some changes um, here and there. So, yeah. Um, all in all, today was great. I'm going to be showing you guys, like, what I eat on a regular basis. And kind of, like, using this as a way to hold myself accountable as well. Um, and to also just share this process with you guys. Give you guys some ideas. Or if you guys have, like awesome like healthy recipes stuff like that i would love them um i'm always in down to try new foods and stuff so yeah so i'm going to chill i've got to film as you guys can see back there um is my little area that i've been filming with don't mind the rest of my apartment it's kind of a mess right now because i'm in the process of moving oh my god y'all my this this hair is just like kind of bothering me now and it's getting 
stuck to my face because um, my air is broken. And um, I live in Texas and it's the beginning of August. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, the heat right now, I can't even deal with this hair. The heat right now is beyond. Like, I literally filmed a makeup tutorial today, and I was doing my greatest effort to get through it because I was sweating, literally dripping sweating, like, all over my body <laughs> through the whole tutorial. But I had to get it done today, and, um... Now I am about to escape to my boyfriend's apartment that actually has working AC. So, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to actually keep this hair because it's literally like getting PC because it's so hot. But I think it's so cute, so I want to keep it. But I don't know if I don't know if my um, I don't know if I can take it. But yeah, I filmed today. Um, and I'm about to leave my apartment. Uh, I was supposed to tell y'all what I ate earlier, but um, my camera had died. So um, I had my um, leftover Chipotle from yesterday to eat. It was just like a Chipotle salad. So um, brown rice, beans, lettuce, corn, and chicken. That's all I had. And the salad dressing. If you guys haven't tried the honey Chipotle salad dressing, it is so good. It's like a vinaigrette. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So, so I'm sitting in my car because I'm waiting for my boyfriend to get home so I can come into his apartment um, and basically indulge in his AC. And I was on YouTube and I don't know what prompted me to like click on this video that I ended up watching a little snippet of because I kind of couldn't like deal with what was going on in the video and so while I was watching this video basically I'm not really sure what the entire video was about because I didn't watch the entire thing I probably watched the first minute or two of it um, and I don't even know what video it was because I don't even want to like get into that aspect but I want to talk about something that kind of struck me when I was watching the video so basically the video was talking about um, biracial privilege and never realized how many videos there were about that on YouTube or like interracial dating and stuff like that and so I was like whoa like that's kind of interesting and um, so I was watching it and I'm assuming I'm assuming because there wasn't a photo of the person who created the video it was just like a picture in her voiceover um, talking and um, she was mentioning Taryn Guy, which is, you know, I know Taryn personally, um, looked up to her a lot uh, when I was, before I started my own YouTube channel and um, have been able to like actually really connect with her um, a, lot, a few times in the past. And anyway, so that's what drew me was like, she mentioned white, or not white, uh, biracial privilege in the text, in the title, also Taryn's name. And I was like, what is this? So I clicked it and um, started watching it and I'm assuming the woman is dark skinned like I was saying um, and so she's just talking about how um, she basically was saying that how she couldn't find the logic in watching people like Taryn or Sunkiss Alba or anybody who was light skinned or had a different hair texture than her and she was just kind of low-key going in about how like she just doesn't understand why black women watch people like Taryn Guy and Sunkist Alba because all they're trying to do by watching them is imitate what they're doing with their hair and that basically the products that they're using on their hair will never work for women with 4C hair or kinkier hair and I, I, random talking and I'm while she's talking I'm listening I'm also reading comments from people and I saw a few comments that were kind of like well you know what is this and um, I agree with you on certain levels da, 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 they're talking but one thing that struck me was that the person that was who posted the video was responding to different comments so she was kind of nasty about different things so I was already kind of like oh, okay this person is not necessarily a uh, good perspective different perspective because I always like wonder about like how people feel about watching other women on YouTube who do not look like them um, 
and how that that how they, people feel about that because obviously like for me I don't want women who only look like me to watch me I want to be relatable to all women um, so I was looking at trying to see like perspective and she was really like against you know people watching people that did not look like them and basically was kind of like very pro like very pro you know watching black women or dark-skinned women on YouTube and that there's not enough and there was other comments that she had mentioned in the video saying that um, you know she see like this person who was, said the comment was saying that you know she had seen uh, so many you know biracial or light-skinned women who are getting these opportunities to um, work with different brands and stuff like that that didn't deserve it like there were other women out there that deserved those those opportunities more and um also she mentioned lisa price and how lisa made carol's daughter for only women that looked like her and i was just like wow okay uh, me knowing lisa price personally me knowing and have worked with carol's daughter multiple times um and being in this natural hair world I was like, wow. And the thing that was kind of shocking but not surprising was the fact that like, I know women feel that way. I know women feel a type of way when they don't see themselves reflected in you know different campaigns that brands do that cater to them or want them to buy their product but don't necessarily like reflect who their audience is in their campaigns and their branding totally get that i think that brands should definitely do a really diligent job about making sure that they are showcasing a variety of people outside of their audience or inside their audience when they're doing campaigns and stuff because brands should be able to you know showcase that they do want to cater to us to a certain group of people and that but that's the thing like brands when they create products or whatever they are catering to an audience everything is not for everybody so but at the same time that's not a bad thing in my opinion because you can you can love something and I hate it or I can love something and you hate it. But the beauty in that is that everything is always gonna be different and everything is always gonna have that diversity to where, you know, some things are not gonna work for me while some things may work for you and vice versa. And um, I think the real sad part about that whole video was that, you know, that women feel like, or some black women feel like they can't watch women that don't look like them because they're not gonna get anything out of it. And my thing is, why, why, why is that the case? Why does it have to be a, well, you don't have hair like me, you don't have skin like me, so I'm not going to watch your videos because there's nothing you could possibly offer me. That's so untrue. When I was watching videos like all the time before I started my channel and everything, and even still now, I watch tons of girls that don't look like me. And especially back then when I was kind of creating my own hair regimen, I was watching white girls, black girls, Hispanic girls, like all over the spectrum because I wanted different perspectives and I wanted to um, watch people's videos and enjoy them. You know, there's so many women out there on YouTube that are doing magnificent content, like seriously. And I remember um, some women that I used to watch before I started my channel, I'll name one specifically because she's still like around and popping and doing amazing things is Evelyn from the internet. And I used to watch her like back when she was in school and college and before she started working with naturallycurly.com and before she started really like popping off with her career in the natural hair world. And um, I used to love her. I used to, I used to watch her tutorials, hair tutorials. I used to watch her talking videos because I just loved her personality and I just loved to see what she was going to create. And it's funny because I met Evelyn um, and I've seen her multiple times now. We're cool. And, um, you know, I, I told her that I was like, I've been watching you forever. And she like knew who I was. And that still like, kind of gets me like, oh, my God, you know who I am, like kind of thing. But, you know, she had no idea that I watched her. And I'm sure she was kind of confused, like, wow, like Jade is watching my videos, like kind of thing. Because a lot of women do that. Like they don't think that like they don't think that. I would want to watch their videos because they don't look like me and the uh, like I said the sad part about that is that I know that you don't look like me but that's the beauty of it is that you don't look like me you don't have my hair same hair type but that means I can learn from you something a different perspective or a different idea or see just just something entertaining and I can always respect and admire and appreciate creativity and and um, 
and what you bring to the table no matter who you are and so I, that video just kind of struck me like dang like is that how it is like for real for a lot of people like you just don't you don't watch people that don't look like you because of what because it's wasting your time like I don't I don't get it I don't I don't get why a lack of support is a good thing I think at the end of the day we're all out here just trying to live we're all out here just trying to share our gifts and it's like why why have that negativity wrapped up in it also you know that's that's the part that I kind of was just like mm, I, I had to cut it off because I was just like you know what I can't even like ingest this negativity in this video so I'm just gonna cut it off and I'm gonna let my thoughts out about it but yeah I was like dang I watch a lot of people that don't look like me and I don't think it's stupid or not logical I think it's 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 important for me to support other people that don't look like me it's important to just support others who are creative and who are putting content out there great content like honestly you know that's crazy I don't know maybe I'm the crazy one and I'm different or whatever but hey y'all what's up it is Friday uh, I am headed to go see Brandy for day two of our fitness journey together um yesterday i didn't go i was um was a day of rest or whatever and i was so sore like all over my body it was insane um but that means you know i did work so that's a good thing um today i don't feel as sore but i am still a little sore so i'm kind of <laughs> worried about how this workout is gonna feel but i feel like um i feel like i feel better after the workout because i would have gotten my you know muscles moving and stuff because right now everything is like kind of stiff and i need that extra um that extra movement to get me out of this um stiffness that i'm soreness that i'm feeling right now but yeah um for breakfast i had a protein shake and a piece of toast with peanut butter on it again it's like my go-to breakfast because it kind of gives me like sweet and savory i don't know what i'm going to eat for the rest of the day yet because i gotta go grocery shopping i um found some recipes online last night um on this app the paleo diet app that my um that brandy told me to um download so i'm gonna go get some stuff today after our workout and then um kind of schedule out what i'm gonna eat for the next few days because um it was tough yesterday because I wasn't prepared so like I still ate pretty healthy but I did not get all the greens that I needed in yesterday and I didn't drink enough water yesterday so I actually had a headache for half the day because I think my body felt it that I wasn't drinking enough water and it is hot as hell uh, right now so I don't have the luxury of not drinking water um, yeah so I'm headed there now um, how am I feeling today? Well, I'm feeling kind of sluggish, um, and kind of like the, the low of like just starting out. Like I'm such a perfectionist that like starting out at such a like beginning point is so hard for me because I'm so used to having everything like down packed by this point in my life. So it just sucks <laughs> being at this point knowing like how much I want how much further I want to go and need to go and where I want to be and so and it's just yeah but it's motivation to keep going too so um I'm gonna keep going and keep doing it so I will check in with y'all you know after we finish <sighs> all right y'all so just finished working out with Brandy it was awesome uh, I feel great I think that uh, definitely circuit training is my favorite I never thought that I would enjoy working out this much um, and you guys know I was feeling like sluggish and everything earlier um, but I feel good now I feel really really great and um, you know I'm really excited about this because I can tell that like my body is doing things that like I've never felt it do before even though that I've always been like a small person I've never been athletic I've never been like that like super 
you know fit person so it's a very new experience for me and so it's exciting though um brandy's awesome i love the workouts that she gives me i'm gonna have to share them with you guys um i'm gonna be doing some videos with her coming up soon uh because i think that like she has such a wealth of knowledge and just like really is somebody that like i identify with a lot and we have like kind of like the same motives um and passion in life for like helping girls and helping others and um, being the best version of ourselves and like all of that like really deep stuff so i really want to get her on here um and get talking to you guys because i think she's an awesome person so yeah um, let me know if you guys want to come inside the gym with me one day. I uh, plan on doing that, but like if there's any specific things you guys are looking for or kind of the specific way you guys want the video to be tailored, let me know um, and I will do that with um, Brandy. And uh, yeah, now I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I've got some things that I need to get to stock up on for the week and um, then me and Mark are going to um, we are mark is my boyfriend fyi for those who don't know uh we're gonna go out to dinner tonight so i don't know where we're going yet he is such a surpriser he always loves surprising me with things so we'll see where we go eat later but yeah i'm feeling good and i hope you guys are having an awesome day Whew. okay so my apartment is a mess right now i don't even want to show y'all but like just like look at just like boxes of just stuff a towel like just like stuff on my filming stuff like i filmed um yesterday so like i didn't have time to clean it up um but yeah it's kind of like a mess in here low-key <laughs> so i'm gonna um get some get my life together really quick clean up and then chill because i'm like so tired from working out i like went and had lunch with mark and um i was gonna go grocery shopping but that did not happen because i got so tired so I was like, you know what? I'm going to go grocery shopping tomorrow morning and I'm going to go lay down <laughs> um, now. So I've got enough food to like cover me until um, tomorrow anyway. So I'm good. So I have something on. <laughs> so change of plans. Uh, my boyfriend loves to surprise me, like I said. So he's not cooking tonight. He is taking me out. And I don't know where we're going. Um, with the new water this TV is so Samsung loud. Exclusively at AT I don't know where I'm going. And so I'm like, okay, what should I wear? And he's like, don't wear jeans. I'm like, okay. That still leaves a lot to question. Like, do I wear heels? Do I not wear heels? Like, is this like dressy dressy? Or is it like more chill? I could wear like sandals. Like, what is this about to be? I don't know. He wasn't much help. So so um, I'm wearing this like long romper thing. Um, sorry, don't pay attention to my messy apartment because I didn't clean earlier. Um, yeah, I, I've been laying down this entire time because I was tired. So yeah, I'm about to get ready. Um, my hair, is this is a wash and go from two days ago and it's holding up pretty well. All I have in my hair is um, Carol Zotter Manoy conditioner. Literally, that's all I have in my hair. And it actually looks really amazing. So, who knew? Well, I knew because I left it in there. <laughs> hey, y'all. What's up? It is Saturday and I'm headed to the grocery store. I'm wearing this dress that I got from, um, where did I get this from? Zara. And my hair is in like a pineapple thing to the side a little bit. I've got some clear glasses because I want to be swaggy without doing my makeup, uh, my bag, my YSL bag, and yeah, my Nikes. These are some of the most comfortable Nikes ever. They are Roshis, but they're like this ribbon, like fit. I don't know. They're like ribbon, like wrapped all over, but they're super cute and very comfy. So yeah, that's what I'm about to go do. Um, and I'll probably run to Target or something also because... I need sheets for my bed um, don't look at my bed right now it is a mess and um, I'm in the process of moving I don't know if I told y'all that I'm in the process of moving so um, let me flip to so yes I'm in the process of moving I move in like a couple weeks I know I feel like I move all the time and I kind of do I have been moving like every year for the last like three years but every 
move has been a major upgrade. So my place is amazing now, but my new place, oh my God, it's about to be bomb. It's a high rise it's on like the 12th floor, downtown Dallas, like I'm so excited about it. So I'll be also showing you guys vlogging that whole experience as well, but I've already been buying a bunch of stuff um, for it. So I'm excited to like decorate and show you guys everything. So I'm gonna um, go ahead and head out and um, I'll probably show you guys some of the things that I get while I'm grocery shopping. So this is what we have so far. I've got these pumpkin muffins. I love muffins in the morning, but I'm trying to be better, y'all. So I got these ones that only have um, five grams of sugar and they're made with like better flour, so like almond flour and um, coconut flour and stuff like that. I've got some cold brew in here. I love having like vanilla protein shakes and adding cold brew to it in the morning. It's like so, so good. Um, and then I've also got this green juice that I'm trying, greens and apple, pineapples. I'll let y'all know how I like this. Um, got some tomato sauce, I'm doing some eggplant parmesan, some parmesan, um, what else is in here? Shrimp, we're doing shrimp pasta tonight, but a healthy version, so we're doing shrimp, fresh shrimp, and um, spinach linguine with paste, pesto, um, and we're making our own like cream sauce with half and half of pesto. Um, there's some chicken in there, um, tilapia, multigrain tortillas, so I can do like little wraps and stuff, tofu, vegan fried rice, um, some samples of different shake mixes, so I don't know which one I wanted to get, so I'm gonna try a couple different ones, a few different ones. There's some turkey sausage, um, eggplants, um, this like pre-workout drink that I'm gonna try, and then um, a brand muffins in there. Um, half and half for the pesto, cucumber, apples, and yeah, that's all I've got so far. I had um, gone grocery shopping earlier last week, so I have a lot of stuff at home already, but this is basically what we're getting today. Like I thought, it's crazy in the grocery store. I'm at Central Market, which is basically like an H-E-B or um, like a Walmart, but better than Whole Foods. Or no, not better than Whole Foods, but like a Whole Foods. Um, so I need to grab a couple more things and then we're getting out of this crazy place. So I wanted to show you guys the supplements and stuff that I got today. So I picked up this Women's Once Daily um, Whole Food, like Superfood Multivitamin. It has like a bunch of stuff in it. You obviously can't see all those things, but basically it has like fruits, veggies, um, fiber, like a bunch of stuff in it. So I'm gonna try these out and see how I like them. Sometimes multivitamins can make you jittery or like your body doesn't react well. So I'm gonna try to um, see how these work for me. And then I also got this pre-workout. Um, I've also got a bunch of the Vega, Vega stuff um, because I've seen it everywhere and I've heard good things. So I'm trying the pre-workout, which I've been looking for one. It's five calories, it's the lemon lime flavor. If you've tried this, let me know how you like it. This little thing was so expensive, it was like $50, but hopefully I like it. If I don't, I am taking this thing back to the store. But yeah, so I will try this and let you guys know how I like it for my workouts. Trying to be healthy is so expensive. Like, ugh. All the stuff that I just got basically cost me $200. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. But that's supposed to last me for the week. So I don't plan on eating out or anything. So hopefully I eat all this damn food. Anyway, I think this is going to be the end of this vlog. So. Let me know if you guys like these. Um, I will continue to do them. If there's anything more particularly you wanna see, obviously every vlog is gonna be different. I'm gonna be showing different aspects. This is actually a pretty slow time. Usually I'm like traveling and stuff like that. So it'll get more entertaining as time goes on, obviously, cause you'll get to see more of me, more of my life and the people in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And until next time, talk to you later. Bye.